Okay, so about a week ago I put this uh, custom brushless build up on my Instagram and uh, mentioned something about the, this being sort of one of the best uh, 1S brushless whip builds that I've flown in probably ever. And uh, I think you're going to get a lot of comments in this video that this is probably not um, a scientific breakthrough or news of any kind because those out there that are into the brushless whoops and the latest and greatest of the uh, this whoop class in terms of uh, performance and the best in class stuff out there this isn't really all that new I mean I've been looking at these motors for a long time on this build and um, I've only just finally gotten around to it so this is more or less for you guys that aren't really tuned into the tiny whip scene as keenly as some other guys and maybe this is news to you guys and maybe this is the kind of build you want to put together to get you some better performance and flight times and this, uh, as you saw on the Instagram post, the photo, it was this is a custom build. I actually built this from a set of parts. I got the frame, the motors, flight controller, um, and the camera, and I just basically put it together real quickly. It didn't take too long. Um, there's probably several different ways you can get to the same configuration. The easiest, probably the easiest way I think is going to be just to get like something like the UR65 here. This in fact is the blue version of the UR65 frame. Uh, obviously the standard one is the white one here or the transparent one. And the biggest difference between these two builds is the motors and standard UR65 motor is an O... was it? 0603 17,000 kV motor. And the one on the new one is an 0802 19,000 kV motor, both running 1S, and the biggest, uh, well, the two big, two big takeaways, big differences here in performance between these. Obviously, they're both really light, and I'll show you the weights here in a second. The flight time on the standard UR65 is roughly two and a half to three minutes, give or take, um, on the standard 250 milliamp hour LiPo, 1S LiPo. That's you know flying it pretty not too super aggressive and not too and not too uh, not too slow either, and flying it the same way on the new custom build with the 0802 motors, I get a longer flight time, uh, roughly three and a half to four minutes, so about a minute more flight time on the 0802 motor, even though the setup is about a gram heavier, so you get more flight time and the throttle um, feels much more linear on this motor versus the 0603 motor. You, on, when I'm flying the 0603 to make corrections, you're constantly giving a lot of huge throttle blips, especially in um, like really quick tight turns with a lot of yaw. You have to really push up the throttle almost 100% sometimes. Whereas um, on the 0802 motor, throttle management is much easier. You can kind of keep it more in the middle of the stick and you don't need massive throttle blips to uh, keep it in the air when it's doing these yaw maneuvers. So basically the throttle feels a lot better, it's smoother, feels like you have more responsiveness, um, just feels it a lot better to fly on the little bigger motor here than the 0603. Um, yeah, trust me, it, it, until you actually switch over to this motor and fly it for like a week, you're really you just really don't know what you're missing and, and I think those there's a lot of guys out there that have already switched and they do know the, the advantages of this and they understand that but if you're still flying the UR65 or the um, the offshoots of this one the UK or the US65 definitely need to uh, swip, switch, switch over to this motor so the easiest way to get this config obviously you can go and get the parts and everything and just put this together uh, like I did here or you can buy like a UR65 and just buy the motors and just swap out the motors. Mm, I'm not exactly sure in terms of cost which one will be less or more. I'm thinking that if you build it yourself, it's probably overall it's going to be less cost unless you can find the UR65 on a big discount. Now I did um, use a different canopy here than this one. This one's a little bit lighter. Um, this is there's a lot of canopy options out there, so. Uh, you know, obviously you can get the Tiny Whip ones, there's ones for beta FPV, uh, this, you can get ones from a variety of places that come in different weights, styles, and all that, and this this one here is nothing special, I think I just, just came with something, like, I think it came with a Super 75 frame that I 
that I don't know sure if you let that video is out yet or not, but yeah, um, this just happens. This is a standard tiny whip canopy. I think it's made of some thin plastic. It's not particularly super strong, and I just put a hole in there for the antenna. And this is the standard same camera here. Um, I believe on my setup here, I have the updated camera with the smart audio, whereas the one in the UR65 doesn't have smart audio. So if you want the one with smart audio, then you have to get the the UK65 or the US65. But then the frame is more more prone to breakage, so you're gonna to have to replace the frame with uh, one of these. So that I recommend definitely recommend this frame. This is a more durable frame, and it's fairly flexible, and it's it can handle crashes better, and um, it's also a bit lighter than the ones on the uh, I think it's on the US65 or the UK65. And then also this canopy is a little bit on the heavier side compared to some alternative canopies out there, so you can probably save some weight doing that. That's probably, you know, it's like that's one way you can get either the U, uh, the UR65, US65, or UK65 and swap the motors out. And the, if you get the UR6, I'm sorry, the UK65 or US65, I recommend swapping the frame out. Swapping the canopy out is probably not uh, necessary, uh, although you can if you want to, uh, to save a little bit of weight. And that's pretty much how, that's pretty much the, the build uh, in terms of getting to the same configuration because the flight controller is the same as the crazy bf3 uh, obviously has different versions free sky flat sky spectrum uh, so you get the one for your radio of course and of course the, the main thing is to get the 0802 motors that is the biggest thing uh, if anything just switch that out uh, on one of these other builds here to get something close to this and obviously there's myriads of ways to uh, configure it and alter it and customize it to the way you like of course so can't really get into that 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 would be a whole long super long video in and of itself because there's so many different options and possibilities out there but just wanted to show you that this is one uh, way to go and i think this is an uh the trend now these little these 0802 motors on the higher kb so there's like the 19,000 kb there's like there's also another one that's at 22,000 kb i might be doing another video for that later i'm actually going to try and do another swap out build here someone suggested maybe trying the beta fpv uh, the 0802 17,500 kV motors instead of the 19,000 for a little bit more efficiency, not as much power. Uh, so yeah, I'm, a, I'm a, you might be seeing a video on that as well. So there's a lot of different ways you can upgrade your UR65 to something better with the 0802 style motors. Now, anyway, so here's the uh, weight difference between these two guys. Uh, the standard UR65 yeah, is going to be coming in at 20.7 grams and no battery of course and this is my custom build it's coming in at 20 and a half grams so about eight tenths of a gram more not quite a gram so about eight tenths of a gram more every tenth of a gram of course makes a big difference on these tiny whoops but yeah that's uh, pretty much it for this custom build i know that you guys some of these were interested in this, in this particular build and then really the main difference is the motors obviously all the other customizations I mentioned. Anyway guys, that's going to do it for this video. If you guys have any questions, let me know, and I'll talk to you guys in the next one.